I have to start with health and environment. So, uh, you know, the very healthy environment, we discuss about the healthy environment. It means the good flora and fauna, good number of vegetation, the vegetation is good, the sky is blue and everything is okay at the, uh, at the um, uh, environmental level or so every one will be healthy. So uh, this is the sign of a healthy environment, the healthy people. So uh, the outline of uh, this presentation is today uh, that uh, health and ill health, we'll we will discuss about health and uh, how is health, what is ill health and uh, followed by types of disease, infectious diseases, diseases from physical and chemical agents, and finally, the health and environment, of course. Uh, as you know, World Health Organization remains firmly committed to the principles set out in the preamble uh, to the Constitution. In the Samidhan, the WHO ke Samidhan, the first question this is like that. Health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Uh, the physical, mental, and social well-being are very prominent in this uh, definition of health or in this uh, paragraph of saying health uh, in the preamble of the WHO Constitution. The enjoyment, the second one is the enjoyment of highest attainable standard of health is one of the fundamental rights of every human being. Without distinction of race, religion, political belief, economic or social condition. Third one is uh, the health of all people is fundamental to the attainment of peace and security and independent on the fullest cooperation of individuals and states. Next one is the achievement of any state and the promotion and protection of health is of value to all. And uh, Unequal development in different countries in the promotion of health and control of diseases, especially communicable disease, is a common danger. Healthy development of the child of basic importance, the ability to live harmoniously in a changing total environment is essential to such development. Next one is the extension to all people of the benefits of medical, psychological, and related knowledge is essential to the fullest attainment of health. Informed opinion and active cooperation on the part of the public are of the utmost importance in the improvement of the health of people. The last one is government have a responsibility for the health of their people which can be fulfilled only by the provision of adequate health and social measures. So what are the types of disease? These are the obligations of international organization WHO, uh, the, the, the uh, very integral part, part of United Nations. So WHO said these things about the, the health, the responsibility of health. What is the government responsibility? So we have to know next the types of disease. Disease can be basically divided in the two categories. One is infectious diseases and uh, communicable diseases, infectious diseases. And second one is non-infectious diseases or non-communicable diseases. So what are the infectious diseases? That uh, spread from one person to another are called communicable diseases. They are usually caused by microorganisms called pathogens, fungi, rectsia, bacteria, viruses like COVID-19, you know, protozoans, worms. When an infected person discharges bodily foods, pathogens may exit the host and infected a new person, sneezing, coughing, etc. Like tuberculosis, you know. Examples include cholera, chicken, uh, cholera, chickenpox, malaria. These are the among other few other. So non-infectious or non-communicable diseases are basically 
caused by pathogens, but other factors such as age, nutritional deficiency, gender of an individual, and lifestyles. The behavior, lifestyles means the behavior of men or women also influence the disease. Examples uh, that uh, include of uh, such type of disease are hypertension, diabetes, and cancer. They do not spread to others and they stain within, within a person who has constructed them. Alzheimer, asthma, cataract in the eyes in the old age, and heart disease are other non infectious or non communicable diseases. The agent factors uh, has a different uh, agents uh, in the different uh, type of uh, diseases the bi biological agents responsible, the viruses, bacteria, fungi, etc., nutritional agents, proteins, fats, calories, vitamins, minerals, etc. Physical agents, heat, cold, humidity, radiation, chemical, bilirubin, ketones, uric acid, allergen, dust, gases, etc. Mechanical, that is chronic friction, mechanical forces uh, during the work, uh, during the work in a factory or whatever in a, in a profession. Absence or if insufficiency or excess of factors necessary to help, that is hormones, timers, cardiac defect chromosomal, etc. The host factor for these may be in the different demographic characteristics may be responsible that is different age group. The sex may be gender, uh, male or female ethnicity of uh, habitant of different um, countries or different uh, regions of the world. Biological characteristics may be genetic factors, blood groups, etc. Social and economic characteristics, they may be very with the education. Educated people are more about uh, care, careful about their health. Occupation may be a uh, host factor. Income, marital status, etc. Et Lifestyle means behavior. The personality pattern different using alcohol, you smoking, smokers. They have the different um, host factors. The environmental factors are the physical environment, as you know, the air, water, soil, housing, etc. is responsible. In biological environment, insects, the rodents, uh, animals, plants, etc. Psychosocial environment, cultural values, customs, beliefs, attitudes, social and political organization. Uh, the voice is coming clear. Hello. Clear, clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. And uh, this is the uh, a figure, a chart. You can say these are the host, age, sex, race, genetic profile, previous disease, immune status, religion, customs, occupation, marital status, family backgrounds, the environmental. Uh, the environment is uh, temperature, humidity, altitude, crowding, housing, neighborhood, water, milk, food, radiation, pollution, noise, etc. Are responsible for different diseases and the agent is as uh, in the previous slides you know the bio biological bacteria virus chemical physical and nutritional so disease from physical agents are uh, a temperature when working in a hot environment humans maintain normal body temperature by perspiring and by increasing the blood flow to the surface of the body the large amounts of water and salt lost in the perspiration then need to be replaced in the past minus who perspired profusely and, and uh, drank water to relieve uh, their thirst experience the intense muscular pain a condition known as minus cramps as a result of restoring their water but not their salt balance heat exhaustion is characterized by thirst fatigue giddiness and often muscle cramps Fainting can also occur, heat stroke, a more serious in India is, is very, very, very common in the summertime, as you know, and sometimes lethal condition results when prolonged exposure to heat and high humidity prevents efficient perspiration by preventing evaporation of sweet, sweat, causing the body temperature to rise about 106 degree Fahrenheit, that is 41 degree centigrade, and the skin to feel hot and dry. If victims are not quickly cooled down, coma, convulsions, and death can also follow. Working in cold environment is uh, has a different 
um, scenario may also have a um, serious adverse effect. Tissue damage and does not involve freezing can cause, like in in a Siachen area in our country, uh, sometimes uh, our army men um, caused by these inflammatory swelling. Um, chill bands, frost frostbite, or the freezing of tissues can lead to gangrene and loss of fingers or toes. If exposure is prolonged and conditions such as a wet and tight clothing encourage heat loss, hypothermia, a critical fall in body temperature may result when body temperature fast below 95 degree Fahrenheit, that is 35 degree centigrade, physiological processes are slowed, consciousness is impaired, and coma, cardio, respiratory failure, and death may ensure sometimes. So disease from chemical agents. The hazardous chemicals can act directly on the skin resulting in local irritation or an allergic reaction or they may be absorbed through the skin ingested or inhaled in the workplace ingestion of toxic chemicals sometime in the factories those who are working in the factories is usually accidental and most commonly result from handling contaminated food drink and cigarettes etc Substances that occur, uh, occur as gases, vapors, aerosols, and dust are the most difficult to control, and most hazardous chemicals are therefore absorbed through the respiratory tract. If inhaled, airborne contaminants act as irritant to the respiratory tract or as systemic poisons. Toxicity in such cases depends on the contaminant concentration, particle size, and PGO chemical properties, particularly its solubility in body fluids. An individual reaction to any hazard depends primarily on the length, pattern, and concentration of exposure, but uh, is also affected by such factors as age, sex, ethnic group, genetic background, nutritional status, coexistence, disease, non-committant exposure to other toxic agents, lifestyle, and history of previous exposure to the agent in question. The wide range of uh, both uh, naturally occurring and synthetic chemical compound that can give rise to adverse health effect can be roughly organized into four major categories. Uh, these are the gases, metals, organic compounds, and dusts. So, uh, how the environment imp impacts our health. Finally, if we say the health and environment, uh, people are exposed to risk factors in their homes, workplaces, and communities through uh, air pollution, uh, including indoors and outdoors, and uh, that inadequate water and sanitation and hygiene and uh, chemicals and biological agents, uh, radiation, ultraviolet, and uh, ionizing. The community noise, like uh, noise uh, in the, the, these vehicles also, the horn system, these should be regulated uh, by the government, by the constitutional body. Occupational risk, agricultural practices, including pesticide use, waste, water reuse, inbuilt environment, built environment, we can say, including housing and roads. And of course, finally, climate change. You know, this is very, very important nowadays. The climate is changing around the world. We are facing uh, various uh, flood situation in Australia and the uh, fire, uh, forest fire in California, in our state, the Uttarakhand forest fire is very huge uh, nowadays. And uh, these things ultimately harm the effect, the health of the people. So these are the friends. Thank you very much.